Today is my last full day in Gibraltar, which I've got the big sad about because I've actually really enjoyed being here. But I've still got stuff planned for today, so I'm going to make the most out of it. When I was en route to the cable car the other day, I noticed there's a botanical gardens there. I'm going to have a look at that. And I'm going to hide down to the most southern point of Gibraltar, called Europa Point. And I think there's a lighthouse there that I want to check out and see before I go. But like for real though, my sunburn is getting really bad. I, I was on the beach sunbathing for a bit, so I was lying on my front and my back has just got it really bad. Look at this. Look at that! Like, she trying to fall asleep yesterday. It was just horrible. I ended up lying on my front and any time I went on my back it was just excruciating pain. I also need to get packed today, which I absolutely hate hate doing because I spend far too long trying to figure out how to pack everything. Thing is, I've got 26 kilos of luggage allowance. On the way here, I brought about 24 kilos and I've bought a lot of stuff while I'm here. So I don't know how this is going to work. Like the first couple of days of this trip went at a good pace. It wasn't too fast, wasn't too slow. Ever since the scuba diving, everything went in so quick. I was working on a ship for two months before coming on holiday. I had three days at home. That's when I was getting all the paperwork organised. I've come straight here. It's a bit of a late one today because it's coming up for 10 to 12. I did have a bit of a line this morning because I just felt as though I needed it. Like a light lighting up in the dark. You make it right. I forgot how to act. It's so classic. Every time you make me nervous and I lose my way. It's been a while since I forgot the most simple words I'm in some sort of wildlife area at the moment. I hear animals, but I can't see them yet. We've got a monkey. I'm having flashbacks to the other day up the rock. My man number zero over here. He looks like he's the leader of them. Look at this. You would always say now bad, so bad. But every time we stop. So apparently the two otters don't get on very well, so they've had to be put in two separate enclosures. I feel like I've been bitten by every insect that's in this place. It's actually really wholesome, I'm glad I've done that. Most animals in there have been donated because they used to be pets. I found a wooden bridge. Do I know where it takes me? No. Am I going to go find out? Yes. That was a bit anticlimactic there. about a 35 minute walk to Europa Point. So I'm gonna start making my way there now. Jetty where it's docked at the moment. Can't keep any more. Are we out of time? Will we be swallowed? Don't give up. I 
Eleven. 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 Could you please repeat that? If you don't get that reference, then I'm very disappointed in you. So I need to start packing now. I don't even know where to start. I've got all my dirty laundry in a bag, all my gifts in a bag. I'm just gonna try and fling everything in the suitcase and hope that it's under 26 kilos. If not, I'm f***ed. So I'm basically about 90% packed now. Just the last couple of things I need to put in tomorrow morning. I'll be ready to go. So I need to leave here by 9 o'clock because my flight leaves at 12. The luggage check-in is about 10 o'clock, so by the time I get out of here, handing the keys, 15 minute walk to the airport, I should be bang on time. Are you ready for the moment of truth? Let's see how much this weighs. Well, I guess we're not finding out then. So there's this Italian restaurant right next to the hotel that I've been looking at. I keep walking past it every day when I come here, so I might as well try it for the final night, because it does look quite good. That meal was absolutely f***ing lovely. Afterwards, I ended up meeting up with Emma and her fiance Dan. I just ended up talking away to them for ages, which is good fun. It's my final moments in Gibraltar. It's currently 8 o'clock. I need to get out of this place by 9 o'clock. Head to the airport. My flight leaves at 12. I'll get back into Edinburgh at 20 past 2. My dad's going to pick me up from the airport. I just can't get over how beautiful it's been here. Like, the weather's been f***ing perfect nearly every day. Past Liam was very optimistic with what he'd be doing when he's here. I brought a foam roller. Resistance bands are in there. I never touched any of them. Like, I didn't even go to the gym that was here because I just didn't have the time. To be fair, with the activities I was doing, plus the amount of walking and I did run some places, she'd cover me. That's what I'm telling myself anyway. <laughs> Well, that seems to work. I just need to hope it's under 26 kilos, but we'll find out soon. I know my breakfast here haven't been the most breakfast day options, but this is taking a piss now. I decided to ditch a lot of my toiletries in the hopes it keeps my bag light enough that I don't need to pay any extra, because that's going to be f***ing expensive. When I'm in Scotland, I wear a hat all the time, but when I come here, in the sun, I decide not to wear it. A place where you should wear a hat. I've got it on now, in probably the cloudiest day we've had. <laughs> So I need to put my keys for the place in one of these letter boxes. It doesn't seem to exist. I'm just blind, I found it. So I'm gonna be meeting Emma at the airport again because she's on the same flight back home as me. Look at you traveling with the one bag. <laughs> then there's me hoping this case is under 26 kilos. So I did get stopped going for security and searched, but I'm alright now. My dad's gonna pick me up, I just need to find where he's parked now. When I was on the plane accident, I stepped in the lid of my water bottle. So I ended up leaking all of my bag and hat and everything. When I came off the flight, there was this mad face scanner thing, you had to put your passport in it. Didn't like my face either for whatever reason, so I had to go to the desk instead. I said goodbye to Emma at the airport, she's gonna be driving back to Newcastle now. I don't think the world understands. 